I'm nearly on empty. Like, actually empty. Fuck. Petrol's just a mind state, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I might try it with that petrol, actually. It's better for the planet. How much was it? I think mine's a bit more. I've got a bigger tank, in it? Oh, Obviously. So yeah? All right. Kieran? Yeah? Don't you dare. Uh, Definitely do the high van pass. Yeah, man. Fucking yeah, man. I feel so lucky to be able to do this, man. We've got people that stop. Should we stop? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Memories. Honestly though, we always talk about doing a proper big bike trip together, man. I feel like this is a little uh, starter for that. Yeah. You know, like one day we will do a whole country. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd love to come back and do the, the south to north. I'd love and it's that. good to like try one, to, like bits of one, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, doing, yeah. doing chunks of the country. Yeah, that'd be sick. And then we can come back and maybe do the big loop up north from the Chinese border. And go into China a little bit. Yeah. Why not? Help ourselves to a bit of Chinese culture. Yeah. <laughs> I would love nothing more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark was like, they're going to invite me, aren't they? I can, I can feel it. I'm 99% sure of it. <laughs> that sounds like a holiday for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> One thing to remember is the only professional here is Marcus. You bastard. <laughs> I forgot you were in my ear. Hanoi, 7,000 kilometers. That is sick, a sign from here. That is amazing. Oh, look at that beautiful waterfall. Oh, yeah. A little train track as well. It might be a little bit slippy, just go really slowly. Oh my God. Amazing. That's it, boys, we did it. High van pass completed. It's mad thinking that we were <laughs> planning this ages ago, and they were like, yeah, when can we do it? I haven't got any spare time. And now look, I guess you just have to plan shit. <laughs> As we're coming down, you see that little island. I'm not even sure it's an island, but you know how it just goes. And then like, imagine living at this far tip, being a fisherman. Mm. I'm getting the feeling that um, what it would be like, you know, like you were saying, see, uh, doing like a bigger trip and having this as like a nugget, like a part of it, and um, being able to do this like every other day, getting to little points yeah, and that, you know, yeah. which is much better. It's non stop moving one direction, isn't it? Yeah. Baby, slow it down. I just want to get to know you, but don't turn around. But that pretty round thing looks good to me. <laughs> Made it. The whole gang. Safe and sound, man. Safe and sound, man. I got to admit, yeah, I'm, I haven't got much of a connection to Danang. Well, we just stepped in it. No, I know. I feel like it's a connection to be built. It's like a stop, it's a stop off. Yeah, it feels like, like that, but we need to, that's why I want to like go yeah, around yeah, yeah. a little bit, do you know what I mean? I can't wait to give my helmet to someone. I need to give mine to an infant. A oh, little, little ping pong uh, tournament. Oh. Marcus, have a little go. <laughs> uh, From uh, London. 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 Yeah, he's a ping pong champion. Uh, ping pong champion? No, I'd I, I try, but not a champion. Uh, he's yeah, he's yeah, good yeah. though. Yeah, you try. Okay, cool. One year, one year. <laughs> I'm having a panic attack. Uh, ah. Marcus, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sinchao. <laughs>
It's light work for him. I'm getting smashed. I haven't got one point yet. Oh. Marcus, what's going on? Hello, Sin Chow. <laughs> We just gave them all our helmets because uh, they were so nice and just yeah. And they smashed me to smithereens at the So you kind of owe them, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. <laughs> and you. Eagle. Yes, yeah. nice. <laughs> oh my god, what amazing, yeah. amazing. Hey guys, you know what I was just, just saying about Da yeah. I, like, I haven't really connected with, is that enough for you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the most connection we've got on the whole trip. <laughs> oh Shit. man, what an experience. Oh my god. I feel like my heart's warm and bulging. Get me to this noodle spot, man. I'm gonna oh, no, you're getting any minute. Yaki, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, you get just the chicken and egg one. Oh, the chicken and egg and then small rib. Ram tits, Marcus. Look. Spring rolls of pork. Couple we're of gonna, No, we're gonna get way more food. Oh, look at the fat noodles. Oh. Come on. So we've got um, Mi Quang noodles, which are uh, regional to, to Da Nang, and it comes with these fat rice noodles. More of a, like a turmeric -y looking sauce, isn't it? Yeah. Should we just try it? Should try the broth? Mmm. Mmm, mmm. That broth's banging. It's yeah. turmeric, isn't it? It's got something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. You know when you start off like a curry, is that a little yeah, bit yeah. before you bubble it down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you excite me up a little bit? Oh, please. Give it a little mix. Mmm. 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 I've got more of a bite. It's a lot softer than I thought it was going to be, but it has well, a little bite to it. I thought, because yeah. you know, a lot of the time the fur noodles they haven't got that much of a bite because there's more broth that's yeah, cooking in. In my mind, that was going to be like really thick. And I'm just because it's been on the. Right, right, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I fucking love this one. Mm. It's not sweet at all, this one, which is way more on my vibe because I like that savory thing. It's like a little hump from the fish sauce, turmeric. Super simple broth. Yeah. Chicken. We got crispy baby. Shall I go in? Mm-hmm. Cheers, brother. Oh. Oh my oh. god. Yeah. Let's get you in it. proper. Crispiest spring roll I've ever had as well yeah, on the outside. Man. I love that like finger food sort of shit. Yeah. Do you know what I love, yeah? Got those crispy bits become a whole different texture when you get to the bottom of the bowl and they're like nice little chewy sesame bits, you know what I mean? It's almost like, like, like pork fat. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, bye-bye. Thank you so much, bye-bye. Xin -bye. This spot got recommended to us by um, Donny at Ticket Motorbikes. Come on. Sweet, let's have a little look what we've got here then. Some mango. Some scallion. I wonder if that scallion's a chaser. It's whatever you want it to be, baby boy. OK, so you've got to dip that into the water, soften it up just like you would at home, innit? Never would have got that. Oh, so rice paper and then like a rice, flat rice noodle. OK, a bit of veg. A bit of the seasoning, herbal. And then a little bit of the pork. Strap it. All right, give it a go. Mm. <laughs> good, good, yeah? Looks fire. More fire, substantial. Chase it. Yeah. I was waiting for a whole trip. Mmm, super fresh. The moment we've all been waiting for. Bang him. Right. It's mad fresh, isn't it? One variation in that. And it changes the whole right. thing. Thanks for finding this place, Marky. No My guy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. But I know where I've been. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Comtan, please, now. Tiny stool, now. Get me out of this airport, now. Yeah. 
Oh, I love this, canteen vibes. Yeah. Mashing a little com dum. It's like 10 minutes away from the airport. We wanted to try this one. Ah, uh, come on. It's a block party plate, bro. I like the whole party comes included as well. Jesus Christ, you see where they are looking at mine? Yeah, yeah, like, huh? Uh, do mine. I think you've got, I think, I think they burst them a little bit because like Mark was saying, some of it's on the meatball already. Uh, mine's still nice and gooey anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. Do you know All what? Right. All right, well, a little bit of the pork. Spoon in the fork bite. technique as well, that like, is essential. Good bite. Yeah, man. That's that, do you know what? Middle Eastern style as well, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, boy. You get any rice or anything? No. One by one. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god. Mm. That might have been one of the best bites we've had out here, man. You tried the sausage? Mmm. They're like a little bit aniseedy. Oh, just when you think you've tried all the kind of sausage there is. And then. It is, it's got like. Oh wow. It's almost like numbing kind of aniseed vibes. Raw egg yolk just flashed on top of the, um, yeah. the meatball. Look at that. Ah, uh, yeah, dripping. I mean, do you see what the, the meatballs are a bit like a, like a thick dumpling, isn't it? Just, yeah. You see a tiny little sliver with the whole bite. Reminds me of almost like, you know when you get like a chicken kofta, mm. but um, like a slight sweet hint. It's a little bit uh, gelatinous and thick, you know, like a what's, dumpling. What's the cake say? It's pork and it's uh, cooked with egg. Maybe it's got some little noodles and that in it, or some uh, mushrooms for it. Yeah, Bro, amazing. So you, good. You've never tried that little cake uh, thing, innit? So that's a classic, they have it on this uh, plate. Like, mm. obviously we've gone for the special, so the sausage and the meatball's not always there. I sort of told myself I wasn't going to like it before I put it in my mouth, and yeah. I was just I like... So. That's why I probably had it on you, just like... <laughs> like, a direct injection of this as soon as you get back to Saigon. Yeah, man. In my mind, it's like, oh, it's a bit long, getting out of the taxi with all of our shit, and then you just <laughs> yeah, yeah. bless me with this. This place has been here since 1995, man. So, you know it's a spot that's uh, time and time again. This is just a little spot as well. Like, time and time again, the locals, they come here, and just get their fix, innit? Bang one of these a day, boom, you're live. I think that fire's been going for the past 25 years. <laughs> yeah. This feels like a proper sit-down meal, innit? Even though there's a little squat section. They talk about the size online as well. Yeah. And like, a lot of the time, they'll have bad reviews, these places. But um, when you're like, what? Or, or like, lower, lower reviews, you'll look at the comments and it would just be like, um, <laughs> The server was a bit rude or, or took yeah. ages. You know, there's nothing to do with the food then. I'm rolling. Yeah, the drive over here was a bit hairy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> the crazy bits, yeah, they're the best bits. And just like that, we're back. No. Regenerated, ready for the streets. Kabuto noodles are some authentically Asian flavoured noodles. Yeah. They're sustainably made, and guess what? What? All their flavours and ingredients are natural. I love natural and I love sustainability. I think we all do, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kieran, say some other words. Well, to celebrate this unctuous new collaboration, 20 Taste Cadets fans have got the chance to win one month's supply of Kabuto noodles. And all you have to do is go and follow Taste Cadets and Kabuto noodles Instagram page and leave a comment below on the video that you're watching right now. With your Instagram handle on it. And really? then one of you get picked. All right? One. Yeah. So we're gonna go get some noodle dish that we ain't had yet. It's like pork noodles. Um, you can choose the different type of noodles, I think. Choose the different type of cuts of pork. And it's a simple one that we got told about yesterday, didn't we, Kieran? Kieran's still in a bit of a mood because his coffee hasn't kicked in. <laughs> I was just getting into a good mood. I, I turned around and poked myself in the eye with a camera. <laughs> oh, do you know what though? Fucking last day, man. I'm, I'm super gay. I was sad. I woke up in a room without you two. Yeah, I was and thinking I, that. And I had that empty feeling. For the past week as well, you've been like, in close quarters with at least one of us. You've got to appreciate the moments and uh, tell your boys you love them. So I love you too, man. Love uh, you too, brother. Love you too, man. And you, Marcus. Love you, Kirosh. Today's going to be a great day. Yeah. I can, I can feel, feel it. it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is exactly what I want. Come on. Oi, oi, oi. Look at that. Marcus, this is your favourite shit. Soup on the side. 
optional. Don't want to be told what to do with my noodles. I'll have a sip if I want. Yeah, this looks gracious cave, isn't it? Yeah, it's expertly seasoned as well. So I went for tough noodles. Ending the trip on something new. Mmm. Mm. That's more just like beef soup vibes. Is it? Just yeah. like clean. Mmm. That's what you want for brekkie, isn't it? I know it's pork, but that tastes like a proper, like an almost like an oxtail soup. Is it? Yeah, but it's like, I love that Vietnamese breakfast vibes, man. Hearty, set your day off, nice. Alright, let's try it. All right, these noodles are so strong, that they ain't coming apart. It's more like a, a noodle dumpling. Oh. Mm. Proper stringing, gelatinous, like, well tough. That wouldn't be my go-to noodle normally. I wanted to try it, never had it before. Is it like a Jap Chai noodle? Yeah. Do you know the Korean of, ones? Loads of chew to it. All right, let's try the broth. Mm. Yeah, I love that. Clean. You got a bit of a kick from the onions and that. But apart from that, there's no sweetness. It's just pure savory. And then let's get these noodles. How'd you go for toppies as well? Yeah, man. Mmm. Mmm. Substantial. Yeah, they remind me of a Jap Chai Korean noodle, but with more bite to them. Um, I, I think the translation of tough sounds mad, but they're bouncy, chewy noodles. And that's my favorite shit. They're like those gummy worms you get from the pick and mix. I went for the softer noodle as well. More like a flat. It's more like a northern fur noodle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The simple, humble bit of pork, so yeah. banging. Because there's, there's no broth there, you can taste every individual nice. thing. Yeah, 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 got ya. This shit will wake you up, man. Sun's beaming, it's humid out here. Spicy, sour bowl of noodles. There's no way you can't wake up. That is one of my favorite so far. It's probably one of my favorite bowls of noodles in Vietnam. Let's roll. Oh, see you later. Chat from the back. <laughs> to myself. <sighs> Hold this shit together. Watching these two bumbling fools walking through town. Chatting absolute frass, smashing this shit. I'm like a ghost in the sea. Just me and the camera. Oh look, make some coffee. Mmm, oh that's perfect. Not too sweet, bro. Yeah? Because the thing is, it's so, calamansi is so sour. And then he's put, does that's all water? Just realised it might be tap water. <laughs> <laughs> That. Okay. One. Okay. Come on. Okay. Jeez. One way to find out, isn't it? <coughs> I was in hell too. Mark just no, no, spat no, no, his ass. No. <laughs> it's like a kid being made to try broccoli like for the first cooking, time. Um, like a raw cooking apple. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> for some. Carted in table salt. <laughs> Let's go. Hello, everyone. Me and Kieran have been replaced. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to go get some waterfall chicken, which yeah. is chicken that's been fried with a waterfall mechanism with the oil, for the oil. What? Yeah, it's only one quarter does it. Up, I swear, uh, I swear uh, down. I told you he was going to see some don't, waterfalls in this Don't trip. jump in the waterfall there. <laughs> uh, how's everyone's crepes going? Crepe check for me. Um, I feel like someone's rubbed Szechuan pepper all over my toes because they've gone numb. Well, they're bursting out yeah. of there, My Jesus shank toe Christ. hasn't managed to rip through yet, nah. but my gear toe is a little bit hurting. I can feel the fucking nail just at the... Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Might have held up pretty well, man. They've been actually super comfy for this shit. Yeah. Good, good design, good comfort. <laughs> shit. Very you sound soft. Like you're trying to sell them to yourself. Very soft air bubble. Mine are actually super comfortable. You were going to skate with him back Just home. a bit battered. Yeah, I might bring him back and skate him. He's got a ripped toenail off of his. Yeah, my toenail's gone completely black and dead. Xin chào. Xin chào. We're just doing a crepe check. <laughs> Let's get this fried chicken. It's come back. Waterfall chicken ting, you come see it? On. It kind of looks similar to that. Um, do you remember that time we went into the, like, the suburban neighborhood? in Saigon and had that fried chicken with the rice. Yeah, yeah, Kinda yeah. Kind of similar to the that. proper sort of crispy vibes. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xin chào. 
Can I order a bit of chicken? Yeah, yeah. Have you, have you ordered yet? <laughs> no, for no. Okay. And take our photo. Uh, okay, come on. So, so I'm just uh, chefing up some waterfall chicken right now. That's scalding hot oil, and it's frying it from the top like a waterfall. This, the, the man that owns the place, that's his, it's his idea. He's the only person that, he invented this basically. It's the only first place that has it. Are you, uh, are you engineer? No, en I'm not engineer. But you, did you make the machine? No, I'm not, I'm not studying. Uh, but you're just, you're clever. <laughs> just yourself, that's good. Oh, oh yes, next please. Yeah. Proper nice guy and he's letting us bust a little TC sticker here. Yeah. Come on. Oh, this looks amazing, man. Okay. This my car from Solin. Let me have a camera. Oh, yeah. thank you. Come First on. time we've got all three of us at the yeah. same time. Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers. This is something you should be proud of, man. Yeah. Even just looking at it. Look. Look at the that. Crisp. The crisp. Mm. Oh, my uh. God. It's so juicy. Mm. And it's so crispy on the outside. We've had other, we've had other roast comga, um, fried conga. And they've been banging, but you know, dry. This is amazing. It's so moist in the middle still. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's the speed it cooks at and that heat. Mm -hmm. It's crispy on the outside, juicy in the middle. And dip. <laughs> Just as proud of his dip as mm. he is of the chicken. Oh my god. Mm. Ah. You got garlic and sweet and oh, yeah. spicy. Mm. Um, yeah. Kieran's um, unfortunately mad, spinning out ill. So. No, man. We got to try it, but didn't not get to enjoy it necessarily. I've been saying a lot, like, oh, if you want to experience this, you've got to come to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And you literally have to come to this very store to experience this. That's this true. very restaurant. That's true. It's very true. And I guarantee you it's worth it. Mm -hmm. So good. Thank you. Wow. Wow, that was... Special. That was a religious experience, man. Do you know like how high I hold him up there? I hold him up there with like Attenborough. Yeah, <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Because the thing is, yeah, it's one thing going, hmm, that's banging. And look, everything has been amazing. So we've researched the shit out of it. But um, the fact that he's he's an inventor. Yeah. He's a pioneer in that style of chicken. Yeah. And yeah, there have been YouTubers here before. They put him on the map, people come here. But it's still just a little shop down the alleyway, like three people sitting in there. Imagine reinventing the fucking chicken. Do you know what I'm saying? It's insane. It's around the corner from our hotel, so I thought I'd take us here. Proper touristy. Yeah. But this was the main uh, Saigon post office. The most important thing to do on the last day is always send postcards home. Of course, you'd be a fool not to. Well, that's quite sick. Old school stuff. Yeah, they were send one to Kieran. Start with my darling mummy. Start with my darling fiance. Right. Dear mummy, I'm writing to you from the humid heat of Vietnam. We have been here on an adventure for 14 days and I've loved every minute. Miss you loads, love, Alanek. My check name. I don't think I still want to shoot you in the face. Bow! <laughs> <laughs> my dearest fiance. I send this love note as my time in Vietnam comes close to its end. <laughs> Cannot wait till you are my wife, your bad man husband to be. Wow. Ah, you pussy lover. <laughs> 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 and uh, dear Kieran and Ellie, we write to you from the dense tropical heat of Saigon. So they always start with that. While Kieran wilts away from dengue fever back at the hotel, hope to see you all again. Love, TC. I hope to see you again, Kieran. If not, it's been our last journey together and I love you. All right, let's do it. All right, should we see if I can find a hat quickly? Bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. Fucking hell, this really is it now, man. Probably started. Kieran was a little bit missing in action. You're feeling a bit better now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm all right. I just realised I've got a bag of crockery to take back with me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that through when I bought it from the market. Yeah. Full crockery set. Um, but yeah, man, fucking hell. It's been amazing. I've had the best time with you boys, yeah. and we've just got a got future the best of, of our this. Lives together, buddy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Marky, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Um, I'm just hoping I don't get what, what he's got. Come in, man. <laughs> uh, that's it, though, man. Big ups, Vietnam. Yeah. 
you've been amazing. The people yeah. have been amazing. Food's been amazing. We do this for you. No, yeah, you know, honestly though, man. No, no, Vietnam. We're going to be coming back here the rest of our lives, man. Big up. Love you. Yeah.